Hi guys, Prashant here from Make Marketer, and in this video, I'm going to share some exciting ways to create custom audiences. If you're familiar with Facebook, custom audiences is one feature that would take your adverts of sorry Facebook advertising to another level. And custom audiences can be created in several ways. You don't have to have pixel to create custom audiences. You can create custom audiences in several ways. I have other videos up on my channel about Facebook. You can go watch them. They're really in depth. I'm not teaching about creating a campaign that everybody can do. What matters is the ad strategy and how you capture these people and how you can be creative when you when you advertise using Facebook. So I'm going to share these things, but right now I'm going to create one exciting way to create a custom audience. Now, to 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 continue to continue to share, I wanted to take you through what I have in my head. So I have a website. This is a WooCommerce website. So generally, what people do is they install a pixel on my site. But what I have done is I don't want. Facebook to only know that a pay, that a person came and 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 let Facebook captures the page view. No, I want Facebook to even capture the details of the product that the person have uh, have, have seen or, or or visited or viewed. So you see, and I'm sending all these information through custom parameters. We call them custom parameters through Pixel itself by implementing the standard event. So I have implemented a standard event with the name View Content. So anybody comes to any page of my site, the page view will be sent to Facebook server through the pixel. But apart from that, I've implemented the page view content. This is an event. And I set this event to fire on all pages of my website through Tag Manager. And, and, and I'm not just sending this information. I am sending the information about the products they saw on my site. So you see, I have implemented something called your view content FB. So what I have done is I have implemented this script. This I got from Facebook. So I think you might be aware when you create a pixel, you have standard events, you go check the view content and Facebook will give you the small code. And I've implemented, I wanted the value to also be passed. So I have used the value, but here I've replaced it with a variable, a data layer variable that I've created in Tag Manager. I'm passing the currency, which is a static value, a constant variable, which is INR. The content ID, ID is the, the product they've seen on my site and the type is the type of page they've seen. So this is the information I'm passing as custom parameters to Facebook with the view content event. So, and I said, and I said this to uh, fire on all pages. There's a small change here. First, it will fire on all pages, but I said this thank you page an exception. Why it is an exception? Because I'm using WordPress and uh, generally if you want to pass the information through view content, the type should always be product. But what happens in the WooCommerce is when you go to a transaction page, the pro the content type, which is the e-commerce page type will change to purchase and, and it is not taking it. So the custom parameter purchase is not accepted by the view content the, uh, the thing. So what I've done is I said, okay, uh, if, if, if that is so, then I don't want this trigger to fire on thank you page. And on thank you page, I created a separate view content where I'm passing a constant variable. I will show that as well, right? So this will fire on all pages except the thank you page. On thank you page, the standard or a static variable fire fires in place of this e-com page type. So you see, this, this is set to fire on all pages except thank you page. Now if you go to my page, I, I went before you. So you see the view content. It is saying view content is sent. And you see the custom parameters that were sent. The product, the content type is product. The content ID is 2219. The value is this much. Now you might say, why am I even doing this? Okay, so what happens? What big deal in it? The deal is this. When you come back to Facebook, you create a custom audience here. Website traffic. Generally what happens is you put a pixel and you create audiences based on the, the predefined things that you get in the custom audiences when you select the pixel. It says, you know, website visitors, you can capture people based, all website visitors, whoever comes to your website, they'll be in that list. You, know, you can say people who come to particular pages, you can put them in a list. Or people who spend like 15%, 25% of the time, the top 25%, you can put them in a list. But you see, the pixel will also help you create a custom audience based on the events. And you see, I have created a lot of events, page view on every page, purchase event will only fire on the thank you page. If you want to see that, you see, you come here to Tag Manager, I have a purchase event which is set to fire only on thank you page. Right, I come back here. So, and scroll depth is also there. Scroll depth, I am passing the scroll depth information from Facebook, so from my site to Facebook through a tag, the scroll depth trigger. You see scroll depth FB, uh, where is the scroll depth, you see? Right now I disabled it. I'm using a code 
Facebook will give you one of their custom code and I'm using that. I tried both ways. I tried to use the inbuilt trigger that Tag Manager gives and I'm also uh, using the event, the custom HTML, the JavaScript uh, code that Facebook gives to capture those people who who, who scroll uh, to a certain extent on my site and I can create a custom audience based on their activity of scrolling on my site. Now, you see, when, when, when this information is being passed. And so what I can do is I can come back here and I say, view content. View content and I'm going to refine by URL parameters. You see, when you come to creating a custom audience based on the event which is view content, you see it is even asking me to select the value. So I can create an audience of those people who visited my pages whose product value was more than 20,000. So everybody who visit my page where the value of the product is 20,000 will fall in this custom audience. But there might be some people who move on to the purchase page or the confirmation page. But I don't want my ad to appear to those people. So what I can do is I can exclude. <coughs> I can exclude those people who visited the, the thank you page. Or because I have an event already set up for the purchase thing, so I say exclude those people who happen to complete the purchase event. So this way what I am doing, I am creating a custom audience of those high value visitors or who showed interest in buying the high value products on my site. And this way what you can do is you can throw up relevant offers and make them come to the site again and, and, and this is how you push them through a, through a sales funnel that you have in your Facebook. And this is and you can you can be as creative as you can so you know again I would recommend you to not just implement the basic pixel anybody does that if you want to go to a level that you want to establish yourself as an expert then you have to use these things you have to use these things now you see pixel. right I'm, I'm sharing all these things and you see if I if I if I go to this checkpoint this is actually done through a code if I scroll down, you see the number increase six, seven, eight. You see view content. If I come down, so what I'm trying to send to Facebook is that this person has, you know, scrolled to fifty percent. So let's create one more, one more custom audience. So I say here, I want those people who scroll to hundred percent of my page. Or you say rather than this, you select the checkpoint. parameters depth <coughs> less than or equal to or you can say depth greater than 75 so this way what you can create is you can create one custom audience of those people who came to your website and scroll at least 75 percent of the page and these people are people who are you know, kind of most engaging you can't just do remarketing to any random person who comes to your site. That is not going to work. You waste your money. So this is how what you can do is you can you can you can get creative and you can you know send this information as part of a Facebook pixel to Facebook. So you can create custom audiences in this way. And uh, you can try this. If this works out, you can you can keep me informed as to you know how you implemented this and, and what results you saw. And uh, I will be more than happy to share more content on this. You can subscribe to my channel if you <coughs> haven't yet. I'm sharing kind of very in-depth subjects when it comes to implementation of these, uh, uh, you know, advanced things, and uh, I'm, I'm going to keep sharing this. And again, this is not a channel where you find basic content like creating a campaign. I'm not going to do that. I'm teaching you something very in-depth, and this is part of the training that we give here at Make Marketer. It is immersive bootcamp. In bootcamp is a place where all the trainees or the bootcampers will learn these things in those 55 days. But it's going to be five to six hours. So if you really want to call yourself an expert, or you become an expert, get a com get into a company where the company, you know, comes to you to ask all those questions and you answer them. If you want to get to that position where you want to be that linchpin in the company, then I say bootcamp is a place. Institutes are five years behind. Institutes are not marketing companies, right? You have to learn from a company who's a marketing company themselves, so they can learn the latest techniques, and that is what you learn in a bootcamp.
and uh, and stay connected thank you so much for <coughs> continuing to watch this video and this is how you can create custom audiences in a different way not a generic way that you all know this is how you can create custom audiences based on the depth trigger or based on the information that you share to Facebook and create those high value custom audiences and uh, thank you so much thank you so much and next to video I'm going to create about how you create a catalog and how you upload the product data to catalog and how you implement these dynamic ads in Facebook you can stay connected and uh, and, and subscribe to my channel thank you so much I see you soon